Yo, what is good, my anime people? All you overlord people out there that wanted to fight, you got one. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Nah, but this was ridiculously dope. Not only do we see Lord Ains pulling the cloth over people's eyes and not showing him showing people exactly what it is he can do, and at the same time, he kind of did. Pandora's actor is amazing at what he does. The only thing that gave him away from me is the little amount of spells he was casting upon himself uh, and the overall fact that he started begging, you know, he started, like, begging for a chance to not have the battle continue the way it was going to. And because of that, we got to really see Albedo break through a barrier that even he himself couldn't go through. To the point where the dragon was like, okay, maybe this Albedo person is using Lord Ainz to hide behind while she is the, uh, a player and Ainz is just an NPC she's controlling somehow, some way. Which kind of speaks volumes on... Uh, it might be a sneak peek to other people that are being controlled or other people that may not understand that there's others running the scenes underneath them, even if they do seemingly have the most power. Uh, the player that may be actually doing more is the one that they need to be worried about. But with Ainz learning all of this stuff about one of the most powerful soldiers this world has to offer it's not looking so good for them but at the same time even though he did not take on the actor and even like win really uh and he knew he could not defeat him alone or with a single one hit attack uh th mind you this is just the actor he's going off of that's the only information he has about lord Ainz's supposed power <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, actor does do things on the level of the the person he's on. But let's be honest: do we really think he's casting and doing every single thing that Lord Ainz has up his sleeve? As soon as he pulled out the skeleton head as well, that seemed really out of character for him to need other uh, ways to activate spells from different uh, elements, right? That sounded something that uh, his subordinates would need more than himself. The the Sorcerer Supreme, right? Like, you don't think he can cast water, fire, earth, wind, you know? <laughs> uh, come on, bro. So that was a couple of things that they were giving us to be like, yeah, this might not be our boy. But seeing Albedo chase down this guy and it was all going according to plan to really give us an idea of what types of, like, just people are out there and the dragon said it himself he may not even be the strongest deity uh that exists uh, or entity sorry and if that is the case hopefully he's not just talking about the god kin because we already know that they're pretty strong and have world tier items it's just the fact of the matter that they're not new so if it's only the people we've already heard of ourselves and not so much lord Ainz. We're not in for that much of a show uh, when it comes down to the, the god can hopefully being able to put on a show, but it feels like that dragon armor is up there with some of the most powerful stuff, and hence why it was going to go to someone who was very courageous that died at the hands of Lord Ainz, which is maybe another reason why he's attacking Ainz without you know really thinking about the situation of a kingdom stealing food from him, and he's trying to show... You know that you can't do that and if they didn't show that you can can't do that they would just do it again so it feels like any way to make uh ein seem like the bad guy for killing and all this stuff uh for you know defending his country after it's been stolen from he's still trying to make that seem like the worst thing going on instead of pointing the finger back at that kingdom who needs to take responsibility who only wanted to take responsibility by giving the head of uh, the king or just fighting in general over some uh, noble who is completely trash to the country so it just goes to show you who they would rather keep 
and it cut tides with, and now here we are because of it. But overall, man, this was an absolute banger of an episode when it comes down to fighting, because we know for a fact if Lord Irons was there, this fight would have ended a complete different way, and it's going to end in a different way entirely anyways, because he knows so much about this character, and he's going to learn even more through Pandora. Uh, sure, he couldn't um, recruit him, but regardless, he can still destroy him, <laughs> in my opinion, right? So we'll have to see exactly how that turns out. Overall, man, let me know what you're thinking about Overlord. It's about to come to its season finale soon again. And it's always with this show that I feel like it comes way too soon for the ending. So let's hope we get another announcement about Overlord making a return sooner than later. And overall, man, thank y'all so much for the support. This anime is about to get crazy with the finale. Uh, especially seeing people attack his people and live after it. He can't be happy about that, and he's probably going to make a statement about that. So, overall, I hope you all have an amazing day, night, evening, whatever the case may be. Drop a like, subscribe, and make sure you're, you know, just by supporting me by clicking the video, it means the world. So, thank you for that. Um, yeah, Albedo's looking really clean, holding a, a world tier thing, almost making people consider that she is a true player character and i like that the dragon of all people has the memory of these player characters so i hope we get to have more conversations with him and eins to kind of pick the brain of each other and maybe see just what the heck is going on in this world so take care everybody and peace